Hey guys, how are you today? And welcome to another episode of F1 in a week, where I talk to you about the latest Formula 1 news. Lots of things to talk about this week, so let's get into it. So, firstly, Pascal Verlein will not be racing in the Chinese Grand Prix. Sadly, when I made my Chinese Grand Prix preview video, go check it out if you haven't seen it yet, it hadn't been announced yet, so I couldn't really talk about that, although I did say I wasn't too sure. But yes, Antonio Giovinazzi will be racing again for Salva at a Chinese Grand Prix, rather than Pascal Verlein. And as I've already said, I was quite impressed with Giovinazzi, and Verlein needs to get back in the car so he can fight hard to keep his seat. He's seriously at risk of losing his seat. If he doesn't get going, get into the car, get racing, and show that he's just as good, or if not better, than Giovinazzi. I'm sure Verline is very disappointed that he didn't get a Mercedes seat, he didn't get the Force India seat. But the best thing to, best way to respond to that has to be to perform well on the Salva seat, even if it's one of the slowest cars. So, next I want to talk about the F1 fan survey. This is a survey that was made to see how we can improve F1. But one of the questions, obviously, you know, that's most interesting is who's the favourite driver? And it was near enough equal between Alonso and Hamilton. And in some ways, that surprised me because Hamilton is often seemed to be quite unpopular. A lot of people seem to hate him. And also, even though Alonso is a great driver in the same way as Hamilton's a great driver, a lot of people don't seem to like him, how he sometimes complains a lot. Maybe since he's gone to McLaren Honda, we started to like him a bit more. But a few years back, some people didn't like him so much. It's hard to explain why. But he, did, he didn't seem to like losing to Hamilton in 2007, for example. That's a good, a good example of why maybe people didn't like him. And to be honest, I thought maybe it'd be somebody like Daniel Ricciardo or Kimi Raikkonen who would be at the top of that pole. But, well, clearly, I was very wrong there. Next, Max Verstappen has said how he wants to get the V10 engines back in Formula 1. I think we all sort of want that, you know, the sound of it, essentially. But I think, if we're honest, we know that's not going to happen anytime soon. I'm hoping they can find a way to improve the V6 engine, but I doubt they would ever go back to having the V10. I don't think that would be... It would be, it would be brilliant, actually, but the FIA or the FOM, whoever, will never allow that. Finally, Toto Wolff has suggested that Hamilton is in his best form that he has ever been at Mercedes. I find that hard to believe, because surely if he was in his best form, he would have been able to overtake the Sappen at the Australian Grand Prix. But may maybe Toto Wolff knows something we don't. And I guess we'll know in China, which is one of Hamilton's strongest tracks, remember, whether this theory of him being in his best form for the last four years is true or not. And I guess whether he beats Vettel or not in China determines that. Anyway, guys, that's the end of the current F1 news. Now I want to talk about... F1 on this week, where I talk about what happened in previous years in this week in Formula 1. So, an interesting thing here. On the 31st of March, 2002, there was the Brazilian Grand Prix. Brazil used to be towards the start of the F1 season. I think it changed in 2004, I think. Anyway, fo famous football player Pele asked to wave the checkered flag. However, as... Michael Schumacher finished the race to win the race, which is quite predictable that Schumacher would win the race, as we know. Um, Pele wasn't really watching, and he actually ended up waving the flag for a lap car to Kuma Sato, so as if he had won, meaning Schumacher didn't get to go past the flag. But okay, we know Schumacher won that race. Okay, next I want to talk about the Australian Grand Prix, 2nd of April 2006. Interesting thing about that race was that it was... The first time in recent years that the Australian Grand Prix hadn't been the season opener. And I've always wanted to know why it hadn't been the season opener. And now I know. Because the Commonwealth Games had been taking place at the same time as that Austra as the season opener of the of 2006 season. Hence, the season opener that was in Bahrain rather than Australia. And yes, Fernando Alonso won that Australian Grand Prix. Finally, 5th of April, which is today, 2009. The Malaysian Grand Prix. I'm sure you remember it if you liked F1 at the time, the race where they only did a sum of the race, half of the race roughly, because of the red flag due to a monsoon. Jensen Button won that race in the Braun, which we know is a special car, and I guess it would have been exciting if they had they kept going, but I guess they had to stop that race because of safety concerns, which I guess is the most important thing. Anyway guys, I'm coming towards the end of video. I want to know in the comments, who is your favourite F1 driver, sort of based on that 
poll there and in general how would you improve the current state of Formula 1. Thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like. If you have anything to say about this video, please leave a comment in the comments section below. If you really enjoyed this video and you want to see more, more videos like this and other types of videos, please subscribe to my channel. Also go and check out the video that should be on screen right now. And on that note, I'll just ask you to follow me on Twitter at BigGaming342 and like my Facebook page, BigGaming342. And I'll see you guys very, very soon. Goodbye.